this is my majority of my first aid different assortment of things I usually leave my safety glasses out so they're re readily available for the students right next to them is a lens cleaning station so if they get dirty or they get smudged or whatnot on their safety glasses they can always go in and clean them there's a solution on top they go and just push it down spray it on their lenses and they get to clean them the other side from the lens cleaning station has the first aid kit with different band-aids different burn ointments and gauze pads and different things for burns we do a lot of soldering here in class so we do we have to have burn ointment and do different things like that down below it is a blood board and pathogens spill kit so if somebody's bleeding or whatnot i don't have to touch the blood with my bare hands next to these first aid kit there is my sink my sink includes an iowar station if the water is running there's a knob right in the front it says pull you pull it and it starts to eye wash now backing up a little ways looking across the classroom there's a few different things on the wall for safety precautions This here is my soldering station. If you notice on top of the soldering station there itself, I have safety glasses on top. I readily keep safety glasses here so when the students come down, they're more obliged to wear the safety glasses to make sure that they don't get anything in their eyes. All of my fire extinguishers all have signs above them to make sure that they can see them. Back here in the back of the classroom, is exit to out the outside. I have three different exits to get outside. This is one, one of the exits. The other two exits are the next classroom over and then my mech lab, which you'll look at in just a minute. And to the right over here, there's a big red button. The red button here is emergency shutoff for all the benches. So if some, something happens or if there's a uh, electrical fire or whatnot on the benches, I can run up, hit this button, there's a shunt that shuts off the breaker and then the next room over. Here at my, my school, we have a few procedures here. One of them that we have is tornado drills because we are in Tornado Alley. Right across the hall here is the women's bathroom and right next to it is the men's bathroom. And during a tornado comes through, we evacuate to the, the bathrooms or one of the safest places to be here in the classroom in the, in the school. Now if we come back here, back towards the exit door again, next to it, is my closet. Now say if there was an intruder coming in, this is my safe zone to be in. As soon as you lock the door, it locks from the inside. You cannot lock from the outside, it's always locked from the inside. Now with these features, this concludes my classroom. I have one extra classroom. Next I'm going to go over is my, called my mech lab. I do all my industrial electronics over there. Now here at Autry, we have two different classrooms. I have mine, and the adult program has theirs. You can see mine across through the, the windows there. Now on this side, we're kind of back and forth a lot, working together as far as on projects and things. We have another exit back there in the back. And also, he has an emergency stop right below that clock there. Now he also has an IOR station of his things but his is a little different instead of having a, a button to pull that on he has a, a pedal here that I come out and I push down on and the water turns on automatically and there's no turning the faucet on or anything he also has a first aid kit that we use for both classes when I'm towards the mech lab over here on the other side of the wall he has a first aid with the same things that I have with the blood board pathogens right below it and on the other side he has a lens cleaning station just like mine there's exactly the same there's no difference this is the mech lab I share this with the full day program off and on usually when I'm over here he's in his classroom when I'm in my classroom he's in the lab 
most of the majority of the things inside the cer in, inside the ring is mine and these have pretty much mainly the same features that the classrooms have. Here on the wall we have the fire extinguisher, of course it's labeled right above. If you're standing on the other side of the room you can see that sign. Right above it is the safety procedures for fire and tornado instructions. This is a hydraulics trainer. Next to it we keep a red safety can for oily rags and different things so they're properly disposed of and contained so they're not just laying around. This is my other exit door on the way out for the mech lab. I have an emergency stop switch right there so if something happens I can shut the entire room down. I have a fire alarm right below it and an exit sign. For fire drills we actually go straight across on the other side of the parking lot there. Depending on if we're in this classroom or the next classroom over, depends on where we, we go. We usually meet up in about the center between the two on the other side by the fence. Now I have a few valves around here and what the valves are for is for the pneumatic air. Air pressures for some of my systems that I need. There's one here, there's one behind on the wall behind the machine back there. There's also one on the wall with a pipe coming down over there. Now if you notice, looking around the classroom here, on the floor there's yellow stripes. It's to show individuals that they know those are danger zones. So they don't know to walk up and start sticking their fingers on things and so they don't get smashed. One of the more dangerous things that we do in this mech lab here is pneumatics and hydraulics. The trainer on the right is pneumatics and the trainer on the left is hydraulics. If you look on the very top of the, the benches, there are safety glasses all the way across the top of them. When my students are working on with either one, I, I have them wear safety glasses so the, they don't get hit in the eye or oil sprayed or a hose smacked in their face. Of course, there's stop switches on them, so anytime something happens, we can always shut it off. And next, left, right to the pneumatics trainer, that pole right there, you can see the hose coming across. There's also a valve there, so if they can't get close enough to the hose to shut it off up top right there, we can always reach over and shut it off at that valve. All right, here in the mech lab, we have different procedures and different things in place to make sure that the students are safe, as well as myself. different rules and regulations so to make sure that no one gets hurt now most of my trainers are set up to where they're not very dangerous to where you can't quite get hurt like my robot that we just passed there it's actually a very small robot not very dangerous but they are trained to make sure that they don't get in its way. You can actually stick your finger in it. So one of the main reasons we use the equipment that we do is for the simple fact of it's not very dangerous in my classroom. I don't have anything dangerous. If we do work with something semi-dangerous, I'm there standing on top of them to make sure nothing happens. And I also check, double check my my first aid wells we have a contractor that comes in and makes sure we have everything that we need.